Steve Traxel against Vinny Castillo with the bases chock full of Braves, and he definitely got some of that. Apparently, he got enough of that. Line drive slapped Grand Slam. Castillo's eighth puts Atlanta up 4 0. Bottom five game tied at four. Traxel against Gary Sheffield pops up at first. Mo Vaughn, I got it. I got it. Oh, hey, oh, oh. That's definitely not a web gem, but it is an out. He's got that going for him. Bottom six game tied at four. Traxel gets six on the Richter scale. Andrew Jones, and that was supposed to curve. 418 feet away, solo shot. Jones 14th. Atlanta 5 4 later in the inning. Braves looking for more, and the Braves getting more off Traxel. But Jeremy Bernitz is out there. I think he hurt the shoulder. He would stay in the game. Top eight. Mets down 5 4. Met on first and second. No problem. John Smoltz gets Ray Ordonez. And be sure to grab your things. That's your ballgame. Braves hold on to win 5 4. How about the Braves' bullpen? Throwing five and a third of three hit, no run ball. Smoltz gets the final four outs for his. Let's go talk to Bob. There's Schilling, feeling a little under the weather, battling some strep throat. First batter of the game, Julio Lugo thinks, well, he looks healthy to me, thanks. Bottom first, Junior Spivey, former driller. This one to right field, Richard Hidalgo under it. Craig Council going to tag, and Craig Council going to get his uniform all dirty, dirtier. Great hook slide, head first around. Greg's on, Arizona up 1-0. Now, most pitchers, they don't want to tip off what they're going to throw, but check out Schilling talking to Damian Miller. He just mouths fastball outside. There you got it. All right, Zon, you know what's coming. Fastball outside for strike one. Next pitch, 93, outside. But then, oh, yeah, didn't mention the nasty one coming. Zon struck out twice in this game. That just doesn't even seem fair to set somebody up like that. Bottom third. Diamondbacks up 2 nothing. A Rubio de Razo. That is so far into the picnic pavilion. And that ball carrying an 0 for 18 slump with it. Six homers for Drazo, all of them at the bob. Top seven, Astros 10-1. They're behind. And Schilling, he can protect that lead just fine. Hidalgo, down he goes. Schilling, eight strikeouts. Arizona beats up on Houston by a final of 10-4. Astros got three in the ninth. Schilling, seven innings pitched, fifth straight start. The Schilling has not walked a batter. That's extending over 37 innings. Schilling, eighth straight win, which is a career high. D-backs now combined 23 and 2 when Schilling and Randy Johnson start. As you see, 12 and 1 for Schilling in that. Randy Johnson, 11 and 1. So you got about a 90% chance, better than 90% chance, when those two jump out there. The rest of them you see, Martinez, Mussina, Ishii, and Alo. Giants, Padres, Barry Bonds trying to remove the T from his fourth place in the all time home run list. And in the first, Jason Middlebrook gives him four wide. Brings up Jeff Kent. Jeffrey Franklin Kent, you get in his house right now. 6-4-3 double play to end the first. Top third, two on, two out. Middlebrook again, and this time, well, the catcher doesn't stand up, but it doesn't appear they're trying that hard to throw a strike. And so Bonds, yeah, you got a base empty. Load him up. So Kent going to get another chance. And you know, he was an MVP, and that didn't happen by accident. Strokes that one to center. It gets down. Russ Ortiz, the pitcher, will score. David Bell will score. RBI is 27-28 for Kent. Giants up 2 nothing. Next up, Benito Santiago. Earth is full. Go home. Three-run shot having a great season, Santiago, even at his advanced age. His sixth. The Giants will score five with two out in the third. Bonds in the fourth. That's in the park. First good pitch he saw. He knocked for the single. Top seven facing Kevin Pickford. And Bonds again. The shift is on. He still manages to sneak one through the right side. Bonds would go two for three, have a couple of walks, and he's stuck if a person can actually be stuck at 586 homer. Still tied with Frank Robinson. 11-3. Russ Ortiz undefeated lifetime at Qualcomm. He's backed by 20 hits, a season high by the Gents. Red Sox took two out of three at Yankee Stadium. Orioles in, please. Alfonso Soriano on time this time in, in the starting lineup. Roger Clemens going for win number eight. In a jam, though, in the second. Goes 3-0 in Gary Matthews Jr. and wants to intentionally walk him. Well, mission accomplished. Right over Jorge Posada's head. Jay Gibbons scores. He's got to work on that EFAS pitch. Clemens settles down, though. Ah, the power of cheese. Brian Roberts. Cheese. Here we go. Top five save score. Clemens against Melvin Morey. Did a lot of missing. Struck out three times. Clemens, 13 K in seven innings work. Bottom eight, Yanks down 3-2. Bases loaded, no outs. P.J. Wright against Jason Jimey. I mean, and this is just the sort of situation you pay a guy $120 million. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and rack that bat, please. One out. Next batter, Jorge Posada against Jorge Julio. Posada flies out to center, and Soriano, the only man not named 
Orhe in this highlight scores from third, ties it at three. Top nine, same score. Runner on second, two outs from Mike Bordick. That'll get down and left. Gary Matthews scores, two hits for Bordick. Orioles win it 4 three. Yankees have dropped three of four. And if you need to call Mariano Rivera, check with the O's. They appear to have his number. Rivera, pretty much untouchable to everyone else, fell to one and seven with a 4-4-7 ERA in his career against Baltimore. No decision for Clemens, who remains unbeaten in the Bronx this season. We took a vote. Red Sox Tigers won. They're the showcase highlight. Pedro's first visit to Comerica Park. First time he's faced the Tigers since 99. And the leadoff batter, Ramon Santiago, 48th career at bat. He just came up with his first career home run. And it's off Pedro Martinez to boot. Start bragging. Not bad. One's in Tigers. Next batter, Damien Easley. How about back to back off Pedro? First time he's given up back to back homers to the first two batters of a game ever. 2 0. It would be 4 0 after one. Bottom second. After his team got him four back, well then, just fine. Chris Truby, Santiago, easily paying those guys back. Pedro striking out the side in the second. Top four, still fours on the board. Steve Sparks didn't knuckle that one enough. Trot Nixon towards a bullpen near you. 6-4 Red Sox and Nixon's sixth homer of the season. Bottom eight, Tigers trailing 6-5. Wendell McGee against the Red Sox knuckleball. Tim Wakefield. Shane Halter, a pinch runner, runs on home to tie the game at six. Top ten, Shea Hillenbrand gets his bat on it. Now we're in a clutch situation here with a runner on, and look at Easley. Giving tremendous effort, and effort, of course, is the key to success. And in the bottom of the tenth, Halter, after pinch running, gets himself in at bat. Well, he kind of jogged there over Johnny Damon's head. Ground rule double. Damian Jackson will score, and the Tigers win by a count of 7-6. The Eldricks manager, Louis Pujols, called it his team's best win of the season. The Tigers hadn't started a game with consecutive cranks since August of 86. Guys, Buck Martinez era stops here. Fired as manager of the Blue Jays Monday after one season and 53 games. At 20 and 33, Toronto off to its worst start in two decades, but the Jays GM says Martinez was dismissed because of his lack of experience and leadership rather than the dismal record. Third base coach Carlos Tosca will manage the club the remainder of the season. Martinez, the fifth manager in the majors, let go this season. He finishes with exactly 100 career wins, 115 losses. Of the 11 managers, big year in the class of 2001, Martinez the fourth to get axed, save for Bob Brenly of the D-backs and Jim Tracy in L.A. None of the remaining sophomore skippers have not runaway success this season. If not for the D-Rays, Tosca would be taking over a last-place team in the AL West. Bottom four, he puts on the hit and trot with Jose Cruz Jr. There's the hit, and he can start trotting. Cruz Jr. came in 10 for 61, but found his stroke in this one. We're tied at one. Top five, Pete Walker making his second career big league start. It's Brent Abernathy and then Ben Greaves. Just looking at that. Nice pitch. Seven strikeouts and five innings. Walker, his first win. One more time for Jose Cruz Jr. Three for four in this one. 5-1 Blue Jays. The seventh. Toronto wins the by count of six to one. A good thing for the Brewers this season. Why is Jerry Royster smiling? Well, sausage races? No, no, because the Brewers have just two series wins, or five series wins all year, and two of those have come against the Cubs. They've taken five and six coming into Monday's play. Top four, game tied at one. Fred McGriff against Jamie Wright, and just like the War of the Roses, that's history. McGriff solo shot to right, second of the game, number 457 for his life. Cubs lead 2-1. Top 5, 4-1 Cubs after a Corey Patterson home run. Sammy Sosa does a little something for his people. Solo shot, 20th of the year, 5-1 Cubs. Cubs four solo homers off right, but you know what? The Brewers come back as Brewers are liable to do if you let them. <laughs> Bottom 7, 5-5 five, five game. Richie Sexton, Gapper to left center. Jeffrey Hammonds is going to score 6-5. Brewers who win at 7-6 and now have beaten the Cubs six times in seven tries this season. Sosa is the first to 20 home runs, the first time he's been first to 2-0 in his career. First Pirates Expos meeting of the season. I know we've all been anticipating that. Pirates run into some defensive problems. Orlando Cabrera steals second and then gets third on the throwing air from Jason Kendall. Oh, you know, you got to catch it, you got to throw it later. And Jose Vidro's at bat. Grounds to first. Kevin Young got it. And then not really a good throw to Kip Wells covering. Vidro safe. Error on the first baseman. Expos take the 4 3 lead. Still in the fifth Pirates, more defensive issues. Troy O'Leary, fly ball. That's going to drop. Vidro, Vlad Guerrero will score. 
The throw is going to get away, and since you're at home, we're going to score this a triple. Okay. That's very kind. Why not? 6-3 Montreal. They would win at 7-5. Only six of the 12 runs in this game earned. Two errors in each team. Kip Wells, streak of 22 and a third scoreless innings. Second Dodgers up 2-0. Todd Helton snaps off the lumber. Check out Dave Roberts coming in. Makes a great catch. We're going to show it to you again because it was a great catch. Same thing, only slower. And Helton still out. Top four tied at two. Odalis Perez grounds one up the middle. Look at Juan Uribe. That's good range. That's a good pick. That's a good throw. We should see that twice, but we're not going to. Top eight, 4-4. Four, four. Brian and Jordan on third, Eric Harris second, Adrian Beltre. Right back to Jose Jimenez, who's got his man hung up, and then, well, he's, he's got a good strong arm. Towards on it was a little wrong. Couple of runs are gonna score, makes it 6-4, and then the Dodgers would tack on plenty more to win it by a count of 11 to five. So the Bums beginning a nine game roadie, do it well with a win, and now move a season high 11 games over 500. They won nine of the last 11 games against the Rocks. We should shut out that Larry Walker, a little solar home run in the eighth. He was batting a buck 54 against LA this season. So in bottom third, scoreless Scott Hattenberg takes Garcia to center field. That is hit well, but not well enough to get it past Mike Cameron patrolling out there in center field. Bottom four, scoreless Garcia against Eric Chavez, and the hook will bring you back. Next batter, Garcia against Jermaine Dye. And please watch your step as you exit the box. Garcia, five strikeouts, seven and two-thirds innings pitch. Top five, 1 0 Seattle. Mark McLemore finds a little grass in right. RBI single, 28th RBI of the year, 2 0 ends. Bottom five, same score. Adam Pyatt, just barely a grounder, but Garcia, cat like, gets his bat. He's fired up. Pyatt oh. disagrees with the call. Didn't much matter. Mariners win it by a final of 4 1. Not pictured. Ichiro extends his hit streak to 12. Garcia has now won three straight starts. John Olrood hitting 368 over his last five games. The other half of the AO West gathering in Anaheim. Ramon Ortiz getting the start. You're so not catching that. A-Rod deep into the rocks out there for his 19th of the year. That leads the American League. Rangers up 1-0. Same inning. Two men on for Ortiz. Had a little trouble, but gets out of it. Mike Lamb swinging. Bottom second, same score. It's Garrett Anderson against Rob Bell, and that is launched. Tenth of the year for him. Just like that, all knotted at one. Bottom seven, 4-2 Angels now. Man on for Darren Erstad, and that is ripped right through the box. David Eckstein will come in to score, and the Angels get themselves a 5-2 win. Anaheim has won 4-5 against Texas this year. A-Rod, in a losing effort, now has seven homers, 14 RBI in his last 11 games. White Sox, Chicago riding the losing train, seven cars long, scoreless in the fourth when Megalo Ordonia shoots one the other way, and Michael Tucker, he, he ran really fast trying to get it, just didn't have any luck. White Sox up one nothing on the double. Bottom five, Aaron Rowan, left. Little blooper to right, Sandy Alomar. He's heading home, but he's laboring a bit. Just, just a tiny little bit. <laughs> Rounding third, and is he, yeah, he just, luckily the throw was not great, and he made it. He only to beverage. Top eight, Royals down 2 nothing. Two on for Joe Randa and Bobby Howery. Handles the comebacker. Now they got Carlos Beltran in the hot box. Run him down. Okay, I give. <laughs> White Sox get out of the inning. Get out of the game with a 4 nothing win. White Sox tie a major league record for most pitchers used in a shutout with six. In order of appearance, your honorees are John Garland, Antonio Osuna, Tommaso Marte, Bobby Howery, Kelly Wunsch, Keith Fulton.